okay okay yeah for those who have followed from part one we have got to part two we are now going to upload our api online site that everyone in any, any, any part of the world can view it so i'm going to use python anywhere yeah? you saw how i made the requirement text you saw how i did everything the app.py so i'm going to make a require i'm going to go and i just get uh, in any browser you can use you say python anywhere python anywhere dot com so i think python anywhere dot com is loading let me close this tab so that they don't disturb the the loading of the speed python anywhere yeah python anywhere helps run your code for free so here is our python anywhere this is my account i could log out and i show you how they log in so uh, so if you don't have an account you come here and click sign up and you sign up for an account you create a beginner account it is easier then me i have an account i will just say or this say that no 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 i will use the study uganda you put the email or password study ug at hotmail at hotmail.com uh -huh, here i could put my password uganda something like that then i click login login direct they are saying the username or password is incorrect i say at or this say one two three yeah i try to log in and i see so again they are saying the password is incorrect i could use the ug as a username yeah you i think i'll have to form a new account if this refuses but guys please if you are following you should be online and trying to follow up and we see aha uh -huh. so they are saying i save and now they are saying this is my account placing and everything these ones you leave them you say you just go to my dashboard they are giving you placing plans you just go to dashboard dashboard is here sorry about it my internet is very slow so you go to web web app setup so as the web app setup loads you could add a new app so i'm going to show you how you can add a new app by writing the code or using the github thing the github is the one which is very very easy so you could press next we are going to use flask which python are we using we are use python 3.8 then they are saying this will be a flask app you could change this one or if you don't want you could leave it so what i'm going to do i'm going to say study ug study ug comma app dot pi yeah something like this oh yeah some study ug then i click next uh -huh. so it's creating an app it's not a very slow process something like they are saying if uh, it has created my flask app so my first app they are saying my running environment this one is this one and this one so what i would do i will just create a virtual environment you come here in two files you saw how we made the virtual environment you come in two files uh, sorry about the network though a bit slow but it's working for us so as the network loads what i'm going to do this is my directory called study ug it's where my flask app is so we are giving you the app.py this is where you shall put your code then what you do you open a console here open in bash console so on opening a console we are going in the console it's where we are going to 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 add our to make the virtual environment from for those who have been following i'm going to use python 3 to make a console the command for python 3 i could make sticky notes and i write it for you here as this one loads the command uh, for making a console here python anywhere gives you an online console like an online terminal so it's python 3 it's very sensitive of the version of python you are using so i could say python 3 minus m then this is the command for making a virtual environment then 
and the drums again yeah you press enter it will run and then give you a virtual environment it's very fast sorry the problem is with the network so as it loads you could go into your app dot by the other one you copy all the code control a you copy it control a control you open your app control a control v so they have said we have made our event so what you could do you could just close the console here after making the console so we have closed it so what i will go i'll go into my web the other web setup and then i click down down they are saying source to the virtual environment if desired what you will do you will say study ug home dot study ug you write just them it will look automatically for it now they are saying no 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 this they will just give you this one then you shall delete this one just make sure the path to your vim is vim home study ug i think we even added there another study ug study ug like this vim ah, you click plus ah they are saying that the, the desired version uses 3.1 instead of that so you go here and set 3.9 make sure this thing becomes safe python is upgrading the the desired version uses the wrong version of python 3.9 instead of 3.8 so now we have edited the python version so sorry about that if if the python version refuses we could delete this up then we put it there again because we made a vent with the python we made a vent with a python something like Python 3.8 and they need Python 3.9. Sorry about the network, it's very very slow. Well, we are returning to home after deleting the. Yeah, we go into web. We add a new web app. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. So we shall say Flask Python 3.9. Yeah, I think we are going to use Python 3.9 study ug we added another study ug then we save our app dot pi something like this then they say if we exist an app it will be overwritten yeah so as it forms it's usually good to use multiple tabs one for console one for dashboard one for what so i will come here again i go into my desired virtual environment we had already made it i save them then after making valve uh, you, re you remove this car middle one and then you put there start the UG start the UG so if you are doing your own you'll be writing your own thing aha uh -huh. so now it's finally over so they will say start a console in virtual environment this is when you shall know everything is great if you're using python 3.8 it's better use python 3.8 but it's always good to use the latest value of python so they are saying my console limit has exceeded you usually have two consoles you got q consoles consoles are online terminals you can use so you see how many are running with this one so i'll open this one i'll just open the one in the console so as it loads this is where we shall install our requirement.txt ah so i shall here click on this one and i open a new tab so on opening a new tab i'll go into files yeah we shall get it if you move slowly or very fast we shall go into files then as this one is opening we can install flask on it but the, the easiest way is to use the other requirement text we made so we open study ug let me just see where we are you could say see how many files are in the terminal the command is os so they are saying there is pi up virtual env and everything so you will shake them they are here pi cache then there is virtual env so you could add another file called rec the txt those want to use requirements the text is the same thing but it's a long thing like very very long not in the wrong way but then on opening it python anyway immediately gives you a text editor and you upload your so i'll come into my record text i control copy a it's the other one we made and i copy everything it's the packages we need so as it loads i'll just paste the packages there so as it loads i could also open maybe a third terminal my internet is very 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 slow 
you could give it a minute then you pause so our requirement text has opened you paste it then you save it so this is the, the keyboard shortcuts to pull server so if it's saved you go here into your console and say p you first see if it's there you press os so and check though the network is slow even the free package has limitations but it's better so not calculate on part of the network network being slow put it in the os ah. yeah you go into your console and press os it will give you the files available if you see one the look text that there is available it's uh -huh. It's giving you pi uh, kache up uh, then look the text. So what you shall say? You shall say pip3. We are using Python 3. Install minus ala. Ala means we are installing from a text. Rec 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 text. Then I will just press enter. Yeah, rec the text enter so as it enters to load and yeah it will say no, no value as that so i forgot to get a t so we add a t and then we run so it will give you every packet it's very very fast ah, it has installed everything yeah on installing everything now that's the, the final part is coming to this app.py and you paste your code so it usually comes like this as you know this is the flask template you go to your visual studio code you copy everything then you paste it here and uh, this is the workspace too ah, you control a you control v so everything you paste it the way it was then you save so on saving yeah it says saved you can go now you can close everything you are doing this is the final thing you go on the web so if you place the web this python anyway allows hosting of the jungle any python flask web to pi there is something like boto it allows hosting them only fla every web package of python so then afterwards last part is reload so after reloading your app so they are saying this is studyug at python anywhere.com then after reloading you can come either you copy this thing control copy or you write studyug.python anywhere.com then i press control v. this is me my url for the app so if i open my any any testing there is postman for web there is just postman for everything the, if I open or if I am on an un, un, Android testing part for my got postman and I place studyug.com here control studyug.com users on your phone and you try studyug.com users you shall run the request and though the network is slow it's sending a request our response will be the same response as we get on users of the local host so yeah it's giving an empty thing like an empty value if we could try and log in something like here they are saying it's not there the URL entered is because we are using the web so if we could say users ah you are saying that you are it's giving you an empty list then I could also come into our code, our code the other time we did in part one I check our login platform login the app root available is post only so if you could test from any other device in the world you suppose you are doing using other you are making a, a, a system you need people to test it from somewhere if you place here they say no method is found because you are only allows posting but if we could post on any other device you shall get your login values you shall get everything even if i'm using postman and i change the url Control A, Control V, Post. We are posting. That's why even it's called Postman, I think. So we get an internal error because we have not put any value to post text. And uh, the SQL we have there is not the one we shall use. So we shall enter. 
so guys next time i'll show you how to use github to upload because github helps move the sql the servers down from up and down and you click the same development servers offline there are some development servers you have online guys thanks for tapping hope we shall meet again next time and thanks